Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. This is pretty much where we left off last time as far as time goes. Three in the morning. And I got to looking at this nest we just raided. These, I've already marked these guys for mining and they're called nest formation. And they have the option of mine. This guy that looks so odd in the middle is called insect nest and it has attack. I think that means this is going to keep spawning bugs. <laughs> so, hate to do the same thing two episodes in a row, but I think we need to get back up here and take this out. And it's while we're at it, take these guys out too and that one. And then we can come back and mine all we want. I don't have to babysit them to see if something new is out there waiting to kill them. So, I think that's what's going on. Well, we'll see how this episode goes. Kana was bringing back the bug meat. But, um, she wasn't going to make it. She's ready to melt down big time. So I sent Simon back. He got an hour's sleep and sent him back to get the bug meat that she was carrying and told her just to go in and get some food. So we'll see if uh, we have our first break of the series or not. See if she can make it. Otherwise, everybody else came in or made it back. Um, Kana's the only one with a risk of meltdown. Reread this last time? Parts, part of an insect nest, this formation is made of a material that has the same properties as carbon nanotubes. Yeah, which means, let me pause so I can think here, um, we can get into railgun snipers as soon as we go up and mine the carbon nanotubes. Which means we can start, well, power cells and CPU cores, we know how to make all those. They're, they take a long time to make. Um, we could get Kana and Paulette both on crafting, and Simon too, and just get them made and start getting some real guns on us. So, yeah, I think that's part of the priorities of the next couple of episodes, which are probably going to be few and far between. It took me quite a while to be able to find time to sit down and record this one. And... Uh, I'm finally, I'm, I'm, this renovation project I'm working on, the demolition is mostly done and about time to start uh, new construction and modifying what's there and, and uh, so it's going to be a couple of months of hit and miss for me until I get that one done. Um, Simon's on his way back, Kana is eating and I think she made it. We're going to go from crushingly to extremely. So, aggressive animals. Three. Junos. Those are the big uglies. Oh. Simon, where are you? Simon's on his way back down. Simon was just here. <laughs> she dropped off the bug meat somewhere right in this area here. And, wow. Yeah. We were, you know, we were... I'm, I am where I think I am, right? Yeah. Bug nest. Took out the... Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Different bug nest. Here. We were just here. And Junos are... Okay, I'm lost now. They're over here. Oh, so where am I now? There's the house. Yeah, that's it. Wait a minute. I'm off by a valley? I'm off by a valley. So I'm thinking it's these blueberries, but it's these blueberries. Okay. So these are aggressive animals. Are they? Yeah, looks like you are already honing in on these guys. No, nope, you stopped. Are you going to start killing everything in sight? Yeah, you seem calm. Okay. So, was that 5 in the morning or 6 in the morning? How long did I just run it? If 5, then we're looking at, what, one or 11 a.m.? 1100 hours? 11 to 12. They can reach over the walls. And I think this was a few days ago. I think it was KK's grandmother that that uh, 
wrote in on another episode earlier back um, talking about this saying uh, bugs like that you know they're, they're kind of scary and we need to think about maybe turning these or the floors into concrete so they can't knock them out from underneath us and my thoughts were that this is just a temporary thing and we're going to tear it down soon and and uh you know it's going to be going to be gone and we're going to come back in here with some kind of a of a oh a kill alley and just kind of work them through traps and work them through turrets before they finally get to us and we you know weed them out that way but can you imagine a structure like this maybe one more tick out you know one, one more of these guys right here turrets on them shooting this direction this direction so eight turrets shooting in all directions all made out of concrete i mean this this has the potential to be quite a structure i wouldn't want it here it's too far away from us it's too difficult to get down here in time but there may be some way to incorporate incorporate this design with a kill alley up here so at some point in the future i'll take the time to design something lay it all out and a pathway to it and i don't know maybe we can take both designs and do something with it so we've got till around noon to be doing anything else that's not enough time to get up there and back so that's out what before i turn this back on again what are we actually going to try to accomplish probably sleep <laughs> i kept them up all night they're in pretty rough shape yeah, okay. Sleep. Paulette got her sleep, so she needs to relax. Where is she right now? She is cooking. Do we have meals? We kind of don't. I'm going to let her cook. Some of these folks really could use a real meal. Okay, so as long as nobody's off doing things they shouldn't be. Um, we do have all that leather to pick up out there and up there, but that can wait till we actually go up probably tomorrow and raid that nest one more time and by then there'll be some new bugs hatching i'm guessing we'll see what the the timing is on respawning if i'm right about that but that seems this there must be a reason why that one is different from the other ones i see we've got some harvesting to do uh planting it'd be nice to get a bunch of planting going on um so let's let me just run through everybody here carter is still sleeping no, he is up. What, what's our schedule like? Did I give everybody a morning off? I didn't. Let's do anything until... Yeah, for the whole run, like that. And let's get everybody rested up. Carter got 74% rest at 7 in the morning. Let's send him back to bed. He's playing darts. Carter's bed. Hmm, it's been a while. Carter is in this group. That's Carter. So Carter, when you're done, go grab something. Go, go grab some sleep. Paulette is fine there. Let's let her do her own thing. Hopefully it means a couple of meals. Rita needs some more rest. She is still... still no, she's not sleeping. Okay. So Rita is drinking some wine. Do I not have booze turned off? Apparently I didn't catch the wine. I don't want you drunk before a uh, an attack. Now let's let's wine. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other changes need to be made? Smoke leaf pipes and short stories. Otherwise, beverages, coffee and tea, medicines, all are available. Cooked meals, all but. You know we have these emergency rations here, and we don't really seem to have any real use for them. So, yeah, turn them back on. And then raw foods, we're only letting them do bush fruits. Others, there's no point eating any of the other ones. They don't give them any benefits. Pickled vegetables, we're eating them up faster than I can actually use them. we got 20 and something else there. 20 and 46, that's it. So, no, we'll take those off, too. And I don't think you get any benefit from it. The whole point is to eat a good meal and get a plus 12 for your, your happiness while you're eating that good meal. So, this group here, copy, paste you into everybody. Too bad there isn't a paste into all button, or if there is, I'm glossing over it and not noticing it. Now, 
Okay, so that means Rita is going out to harvest. Why don't you go back to bed? Rita, yeah. Why don't you go grab some more sleep? I want you guys at your best for this attack, and then we can do whatever after that. Uh, Simon, you are doing what right now? Rest is 53%. You are sitting. When you're done sitting, Simon. Here? Yeah. Why don't you grab some more sleep? Edmund got his sleep already. He could use more relaxation. He is drinking wine. Did I miss him? Beverages. No, he just hasn't reset yet. He's still drinking wine. Okay, well, let's just do that. And you are drinking. Okay, coffee or tea. Um, and then you'll be fine. Kana, you did not get much sleep. You are... Well, you were about to break. You are drinking wine. And you still can. Alright, and then when you're done, you're going to go sleep it off. Right there. Sleep. Okay, and Umair, you are doing what? You need rest. You are playing darts, and then you are going to go back to sleep. Alright, so my schedule screwed them all up. They would have just stayed there in bed and slept. So, that's that. Otherwise, Edmund is drinking tea. Kana's drinking the real thing. And she's just, it's just, it's just going to put her to sleep. Yep. Um, so not a whole lot going on right now. Cheer it up after talking to Umar. Good. Um... We did get quite a bit of this planted. Good. And I'm noticing this. When the buildings left, they left stark rectangular spaces. But it looks like it is starting to spread and fill in. Well, that's nice. So it's not a permanent change. Well, it's good to see. Otherwise, what are our, our critters? Where are they? Oh, they are attacking others. Ow. You know, if we keep this up, we might not have anything to fight. Um, you are just wandering. Do we have a third still? Over here. Wow. Okay. So you... 1788 bleeds out in 10 hours. Bleeds out in a day and 5 hours. So that is an advantage to them being aggressive. We can come up here and do a bunch of hunting. And they've already taken a lot of injuries. So this guy is our main foe right here. I don't remember. He's down. He's down for the count. And you are an enemy as well, huh? Interesting. He's stunned. He bleeds out in two hours. So we've got two left. You're eating, aren't you? You are eating. Hmm. Yep, they are angry. And the last one here is just taking it all out on a tree. <laughs> now, we do have power here, so we can get electronics going. What do we have here? We have CPU cores and electronics. What's in stock as far as getting rifles made soon? We have two power cells. Which we cannot make yet. Let me think about that. Craft. We can do power cells. Solar flares. A solar flare. Two disabled devices. Oh. Yeah. Now in RimWorld I would quickly build some passive coolers. Remember those? We have got a we're gonna have a hot freezer outdoors we're well we're only 66 but we are in the summer so i would imagine we're going to get into the 80s or 90s by the time this is done because we don't have this researched yet where is a desk flare shielding that would be wise to get into the pile it really would okay 
Now, you were three days, you're three days, and railgun sniper's only 12 hours. Okay, so you two are going away. Railgun sniper's going to pop into there and jump ahead on the list when that happens. Paulette, let's get you just working on meals. What are you doing? You're transporting. Okay, that is the new research desk. Okay, well, you deliver that, and then hop over here, and let's get... Where are we? 11 o'clock. We're almost ready for the attack. Um... Yeah, what is there? I guess pop in a veggie soup. Okay. The attack's going to hit at noon. Oh. No, we still have you. You have decided to go after yet another one. This says we still have three aggressive animals, so I guess this one has not bled out yet. Where'd he go? Right there. He's close, though. Noon? Nope, not yet. You're going to cause all kinds of havoc up here until then. I'll let these guys all sleep to the last minute. I don't know how quickly they're going to come down, but I'm guessing we can at least... Malfunction ceiling lamp. We can at least uh, run down there at their speed. Which one is it? And out of curiosity, it takes one alloy to fix. Okay, so note to self, keep alloys in the stock for repairs from here on out. Now that we're getting more advanced. Um, I can grab everybody, right? No reason to leave anybody behind. Don't think so. So, draft them all. Everybody head down here. And let's get a sense of how quickly these guys are coming. Uh, lost, yeah here. Here's the first one to get us. Animal attack. Yeah, it's a slow crawl. Okay. And this one. He was in this area last I saw him. He was here. Alright, we'll, we'll do it this way. There's only two left. You and you have already made it this far. Okay. We could almost take them just from our front porch oh you're walking through dog I guess we're gonna find out once and for all what happens I can't tell dog to go over there I can't draft him or do anything like that is he gonna completely ignore him this is kind of the ultimate test because if he aggroed on him there's no way he could avoid him oh like that darn it Yep. Okay. Um, Simon's only got a crossbow. Simon and Rita. And who else is... Nobody else. Everyone's together over here now. Let's take him out. So, dog. Damage power pull. Dog is going to try. There's no way I can, t I can tell him to stop. And we're not going to get here in time. So we're probably seeing the end of Dog. Now if we can just get one shot on him. And Dog is down. Does he stop? Nope. He just keeps at it until the end. Come on, Rita. you got the longest distance. Shoot him. Take a shot. Guys. Take the shot. So, guys. I guess you have to get closer. Rita's still getting in range. Okay, did that get his attention? It did. Uh-oh. All right. Now we're about to lose it. Okay, so you two get back over here. I need Paulette. Boy, there's no other range. And Edmund. Over here to try to protect them as they run back. Come on, Simon. Okay. He didn't like the stairs. Ooh. That was good to see. They took the stairs. He refused to, and that bought them the time they needed. They could almost get in now. Let's grab you two 
and just put you right here. Now we've got another, oh, we got another critter coming through. Yeah, he's going to finish off Doug. And there's nothing that I can do about that. So, dog is no more. And with that, I probably won't go after another pet for a while. Negative 20 and every, everybody. Yeah. Because I can't... I don't know what to do with the pets during an attack. Maybe after we've got our concrete wall surrounding our, our encampment here, then we could try that again. But we're just too wide open, and these attacks can roll right through our camp. Oh. So, you guys need to be in here. Now. <laughs> Alright. What? Oh, you're attacking the building. Negative it. You're attacking it. Don't you take out my fuel. Dude. Okay, Paulette. Here. Get his attention. Bring him around. Got him. Okay. Edmund. Come on over here and help. And Rita. You as well. Got him again. The other guy is going to be here soon. But yeah, these, these are uh, some pretty intense creatures here. You turned. All right, so I think your attention is no longer on the building. Everybody, head back. And is that all that I had triggered? No, Rita, you're back too. Okay, Paulette, back in the in the gate. Perfect. Okay, oh, that that was a little bit uh, not so uh, normal. For us, we actually—I actually had to work at this one. All right, so let's get everybody where they need to be. Uh, Paulette, I need you up here, and Rita, I need you back here. You, the rest of you, can all stay there. I'm not missing anybody, right? If I do this, I've got everybody lit up. Okay, you're all here. Now it's just Paulette. Yeah, hop up the ladder. You're stunned. Boom, you're down. Carter reached combat five, great. And we have this guy left. Who bleeds out in 22 hours anyway. So, can we bury dog? I don't know if that's a thing or not. Rita, can you finish him before he even gets there? Looks like he can. And boom. Okay. Well, that's that. Undraft everyone. Do what you need to do. Uh, butcher you. That was two of you. Yeah. And actually, let's reset you. Anybody would have got the order to butcher. Now you do. Okay. Not a knife in there. So nobody's going to stay behind and butcher. You're all going to be doing things like resting and... Now, well, repairing. Oh, well, they're all doing their normal jobs. Do we not have any number one hunters? We have Carter and Edmund, who should have immediately gone to uh, to hunt, which means butcher. Carter, what you doing? You are repairing, so maybe that trumps all other number ones. Edmund is eating and he desperately needs to. So is there anyone else that I can just tell to stay here and do this work? Or is everybody in really rough shape? You're all rough. These guys will be here for a little bit. Okay. So dog. Yeah. Not much we could have done about that. The game's made it just too difficult to to uh, do anything with your pets as far as, as telling them to go somewhere or stay somewhere. So, hmm, where would something like that be? Storage? Where would graves be in this game? It's not furniture, housing, ranching, farming, camp, grave. 
place for people to be buried. How do you deal with a pet? I don't know. Let's put a grave out here and just see if. So where is going to be within our borders? This is all going to be cut up. Maybe just out in here somewhere. Make sure it doesn't trigger one of the trees. Okay, it got to be right on it. So let's just put this right over here under the trees. I can't, I think that's the headstone over there. So like that. And let's see if it's possible. Now can I, I'm not going to say butcher, but that means the other, you know, the wild animals are going to eat them if I don't butcher. So I don't really have any other options. So it's like they haven't quite thought about what to do with pets when they die yet. Or they haven't worked that into the game. You would think that these folks, especially the ones that bonded with them, are going to want to uh, you know, do something special for a pet. Uh, we'll see. Especially dogs. So Rita's harvesting... Paulette is grabbing, good, bringing in lots of, of grain. Uh, Omar is researching. Khan is tailoring. Edmund is eating something really good. And Carter was down there repairing. He still is. He went to get supplies. Went to get what? Oh, they attacked this thing. Yeah. I thought they were going after what was inside. But it was just going after this. Okay. And then, Carter, do I... You're pretty rough shape. You are. I need to find somebody else I can come down and not only start... Uh, yeah, not only start butchering those, but butchering everything else that was attacked out here. Including anything that's about to, to bleed out. You... Bleeding, not life-threatening. Well... Okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt there. You're dead, butcher. You're dead, butcher. You are not bleeding out. What happened? There's one. You need to be butchered. Okay, did they get into any of you guys? We haven't researched you in order to be able to see your health bar. Mm hmm. Okay. You. Alright, so all those orders are in. We'll see what they do on their own. We've got two that are marked as hunt number one. Let me look at that again. Your first number one is construction and then hunt. Ah, uh, okay. So if I were to up all of these on Carter by one. I'll leave mine there. It should have been a little bit lower. I'll leave Cook there. So you're probably never going to get into these three. You'll never get into those. We'll do that. So that should put Hunt back as a number one. Okay. Construction can wait. See, yeah, let's reset you. Edmund. Yeah, now you're going to go butcher. No, actually, oh, because these are already queued up by Edmund. Okay, he's already doing it. All right, so those two should take care of that. Rita's going to melt down. Rita is going to go grab something fun to eat. Okay, good. And then we need to get her planting again. So who could come out and just start picking up and delivering things? we got research we want to do. Most important research is tomorrow. Assuming that the game is going to let us head up there tomorrow morning and do all that. And let's take a look at the nest. So am I right? That's not a critter. Well, nothing has spawned yet. Yeah, maybe I'm not right. We'll give it a little more time. These little guys over here. Yeah, you can make pets out of these, theoretically. Mm. 
Okay, um, I need to get somebody to actually make that grave. I should have done that so we can test what's going on here. So I want probably Kana. Where are you right now? You are tailoring. Kana, come out here and build a grave. And let's see if we can interact in any way with this. If not, I can't even move, I don't think. There's no stockpiles for bodies. I don't know what tools I've got to manipulate dog in any way. Storage, stockpiles. So, stockpiles in this sense. Uh, one more. No, one more. There we go. So, cooked, raw, electronic, crafting, apparel, weapons, medicines, other. And there's, there's nothing in the way of bodies. Or debris, or trash, or any of those sort of things. So, I can't manipulate things in that way like a lot of other games so I guess we just have to wait till he degrades and so butcher dog is all that I've got grave assign owner no dog only peoples hmm well we're gonna forbid the use for now and there's nothing more that I can do. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Research first aid kits. Okay. Um, Carter is up in this area. Edmund is transporting bug meat. And I didn't think about having him drop it off down here. Oh well. We'll deal with that one later. We are running out of hours. We are... Uh, Carter's bringing back this meat, and I'm just going to say thank you for now. We have a lot of leather to go out there and find tomorrow. We do. Okay, Paula is transporting foods. Okay, Kana's drinking tea. Rita is drinking. Oh, Umar is eating. Okay, drinking tea. Risk of meltdown Carter. He's on his way in. He's had a long day. He should have got something to eat long before he went out there. Edmund, you're sitting down. Okay. So, yeah, they're they're going to be kind of uh, recuperating for a while. Let's set this up again. Work until... I think they were like five-hour shifts. Then we're going to relax there. So tomorrow we kind of start over with the regular schedule again. And there's probably no reason... To force them to go to bed early anymore probably not so I can get everybody's schedule back to normal again Edmund is gonna go butcher and that's fine he needs less sleep than the rest and he's in decent shape yeah he'll he can make that trip and back Carter you are crushingly unhappy mostly because you've gone for a long time without a meal okay you were dropping off meats. We have meats rotting. That's a shame. Uh, right there. Yeah. And I can't do anything with it. I can't. So meats are in here. Do we still have a solar flare going on? We do. So what does that mean right now? Meats are all in great shape. Everything's decent in here. Temperature in here is 66 degrees. That's not as bad as I would have thought. We're 60 degrees outside. Let's get these opened up. Uh, both of you, open. Umayar, why don't you run out here and do this? Open two windows. For the night, we'll let the cool air in until the solar flare is done. And brings our system back up again. Um, you were working on flare shielding. because We don't have the carbon nanotubes actually in stock yet Rita's going to sleep yep everybody go recuperate and get ready for a, a busy day tomorrow with that you're going to sleep too who else is still out there one two three four five six and Edmund is going to sleep pause where did you get off to you just got the order to go to sleep but come on over here and grab the meat. In fact, let's work you a little longer. Ah, uh, 
Let's just do this one. Where am I at? I thought there was another Olfen over here. You are dead. Butcher. And let's do these two. So, Edmund, come out here and butcher and butcher while you're here. You guys are sleeping. Your healths are okay. You... Not life-threatening, but I don't know that they're getting any better. I'm thinking he was one of them that said not life-threatening, too. 39. You're still bleeding out. So you'll be you'll be gone by tomorrow. Oh, Edmund scared him. Okay. So we're 1 and 2 in the morning. Let's see how fast Edmund can do this and haul the meat back. I think he can still get enough sleep to get by before we head out tomorrow. Hell, you're not a real fast butcher, are you? <laughs> um, I assume that's like a hunting skill. Hunting, Edmund, comes in at a four. Not too bad. Rita's the best. Why? Because that's your combat skill. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get both of these and get us a sleep in. So we're going to have to stop here. So you just bring in the meat. Okay. You just bring in the meat. Haul meat and hopefully cross the path of the other one, which was what? Just there. So wait till you get close enough and I'll have you haul this one in too. Hopefully you can do them both. Though you are going to take your time, aren't you? You really are. Oh, that's where I need a Simon. In fact, yeah, I do kind of need a Simon. He's good at that. About to rot away. So let's just let him get to here. We're at four in the morning. Simon, you have got almost all of your sleep already. So Simon, come up here and haul raw meat. Edmund, why don't you leave it right here? And you will run back home again. And hopefully get some sleep. In fact, I'll just send you straight in here to sleep. Okay. You can appreciate a shroom, shroom torch later. Simon's going to go pick those up. He'll bring them back. And then he'll grab some breakfast. And he'll be ready to go. Alright, so let's let everybody do their things. They should naturally... You're harvesting. I need to make sure you're ready to go so what are you harvesting harvesting these is this cotton ready it is really close Rita why don't you go ahead and grab something to eat did you have a special thing that you liked you like meat pie does that exist it doesn't look like it so, Rita, right-click, eat bread. That, boy, that's all there is. Okay, why don't you come get something to eat? That way you'll be pretty much ready to go. And we could send them up there in waves. They don't have to all leave at the same time. We, you know, we only need a couple of guns to... Okay, get my bearings again. There. Here. That is the right one. It's steaming again. Is there any kind of a countdown? New bug pops out in two hours? I mean, this was steaming and this was not. Last time we looked. I don't know what to make of that. Hmm. Okay. So, Rita, you could head up early. Disagree with Carter about preparation of soup. You are, I assume, harvesting again. Okay. So, Rita is ready to go. Is anybody else ready to go? Carter is off to butcher a Juno. Um, probably not as important. Does Simon ever get back? 
Simon did not, but he already had all of his sleep. Okay. So, what we got left? Simon's over there. Edmund went to sleep. He's going to sleep fast, then he'll do what he needs. Kana, you're pretty much ready to go. Where are you right now? You're tailoring. Let's get you to eat something. Uh, eat some bread. And then we'll haul you out of here. Rita, you draft and head up in this direction. We'll just get you to here. And maybe you can start taking out that nest. Okay. Uh, Umayar, you just need some food. And you are still sleeping. We'll let you sleep a little bit longer. It's still just 6 in the morning. So, Carter, you are butchering a Juno. So, that one. And then... And two more. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Eating, eating, and then you two will be almost ready to go to work. Though, I might leave Paulette here. I think that'd be wise. Leave Paulette here, get caught up on some meals. And Rita is heading up. Okay. Umayar is up. So you need food. You are just idling. Over here, grab the only food that we have. Though you could eat also one of the emergency meals. Okay. So rotting away means they're they're gone. Where are you at? You're out. Oh, well, hello. Excuse me. <laughs> you... Um, no. Um, dude. What's the rumbling? No. Oh, come on. We don't need a thunderstorm now. Yeah, look at that sky. Ah. Okay, you have just become a target. Hunt, Edmund, you are... That's all the sleep you're going to get. Hunt this guy. Otherwise, Paulette is going to eat and relax and then make food all day long. Umiar, you are eating and then you are heading up top. Is that the best use of you? I think it is. What, what can you do? You can intellect things, but you have crafting, you have cooking. And you're interested in combat. And you've got a crossbow. Okay. Yeah, we do need you. In fact, Paulette's got the stun gun. There is that to think about. We have emergency meals. Okay. Yeah, Paulette, you need to go with us. So you need a meal and you're working on that. So Umiar, you are available. So draft and come on up. We're heading... I got the right one? Yeah, we're heading to here. Paulette, you're next. You're going to go hunt him. Simon needs to do what? He just needs some food. So when you're done, grab some bread. And otherwise, Umayar is assigned. Kana, you are holding your head. No, you weren't. Okay. So you are about as good as you're going to get. Draft and come on up. And you head into this area as well. Alright, one by one, we're getting there. So, Edmund, can you take him out? You can't. You just chased him away. Alright, good enough. Undraft and grab... Hmm, grab an emergency meal. Undraft. Eat emergency rations. Unless there is... Actually, there is another bread left. Okay, do that. But I don't think one is going to do it. You're pretty much starved. And then we've got Paulette. She is done now. So, Paulette, draft. We need your, uh, your stun gun. So, you head up here as well. And Carter is out over here. Butchering all the last of these guys. And the one that was bleeding out on me. He's down to 25. 
we'll hunt him as well. And we'll just assign Carter to do it. So, hunt. So that's stacked up on top of all your other chores. So you're going to be down there today and kind of cleaning up this mess. Then have you haul all the meats in. You can grab a meal. Hello. A pancoth made the mistake of flying into here. All right, so we're not steaming anymore. Maybe that just happens when the sun comes up. Thunderstorm. Great. Well, maybe we can keep our people in the trees. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. This is where I'd almost want to hit a quick save in case I've got to resurrect somebody. <laughs> uh, what's left? Paulette. Edmund is eating. Simon is eating. Simon... That's all you're going to get is eating. Uh, I think it would be wise. Now, if you hit 100 on fullness, what happens if I stop you? Because it takes a long time. So if I were to do sit and relax, it canceled out. I guess it called it good enough. Okay. So you do that. Edmund, you are going to fill up and eat. So remember to go back for Simon. Has Rita made it here? She has. So you attack and Rita hop up into the... If I do that, where do you have to go? Fight insect nest. I didn't choose you. There we go. Fight. So that puts you in the trees. Okay. So we are spread out all over the place in a thunderstorm. If one of us gets hit, it's a good chance I'm not even going to be able to see it. Paulette, that's not a good place for you. So, read it. Nothing's come out of there yet. Boom. One more shot and that one's down. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't have you hunt these guys by yourself. I don't think. Hmm. Who else is nearby? The rest are on their way. Let's put, so that is the symbol for drafted? I guess so. So Paulette, let's put you over here in the trees. Rita's already here. What is that symbol? You're hunting. Okay, so Kana, I want you in the trees. Umayar, when you get here, you're in the trees. Edmund, you are off to go hunt a hummingfly. Oh, that thing is still around. All right, well, I'm just going to have to override that. You are... I need you to relax a little bit more. So sit and relax. Simon, where'd you go? You are crafting. You're in good shape now. Draft. Come on up here. And park you in the trees as well. And I'll find you all. And otherwise, I think Rita is going to begin the hunt. So who's left? Carter? You are just kind of on your own here. You've got two more things to do, then you're going to hopefully pick up some kind of meat and bring it home. Uh, Carter, you'll need a meal by then. Okay. So Edmund is all that's left, right? One, two, three, four, five. So after you have sat and relaxed for... Oh, enough for Rita to get herself in trouble. Rita. Yep. Yeah. Let's head up in here and... Attack this one. Oh, I know that's a mistake. Let's do it. And then you're going to run. And we'll see if these guys give up after a while. You killed them. Oh, nice. One shot. And only one, three came after you. Good. Two. What was that? Do these just form? That big poof. Wow. Okay. So I think Rita can get one more shot off. Edmund, you are still relaxing. And we'll give you a little bit more time. Okay. Can you take the last one out here? Can I get to where I can see Rita? Kind of. And... Okay, half. I'm going to get Rita out of there. Anybody make it here yet? Nobody did. Rita, 
you head back into here. Any names nearby? Umayar and Kana are getting close. So Umayar and Kana, you guys head to this area as well. Back her up. She'll probably take them out before then, but let's just make this happen. Nobody else is after us. So, Rita, stop there. Shoot. And take them out. Okay. So, the three of you head back in. Let's lure a few more out of here. And... Oh, I just saw lightning strike out over there. How's our battery? Have we taken any strikes yet? We've taken a lot of strikes down here. Alright, Edmund. You, Raft, get you up into here. At the very least, you can start mining. Where are we? This area. Get you into there. So that's the three of us so far. Paulette and Simon are on their way. And they're going to be in trees the whole time. So I hope that means they're safe from lightning. Um, Edmund is on his way. He's never going to catch him. He only has the, the range of a pistol. So Carter's the only unknown right now. Uh, Carter is butchering the last one. And then he's kind of in trees all the way back home. So hopefully lightning will take him out. Okay, so you guys up into here. Uh, let's mark everybody. You guys hunt and hunt. And I see they're all the way up in the woods here. So they have been chasing something. I'm seeing colors. What are you? Oh. Oh. And there's a whole bunch more. Yeah, five Shrieker Hatchlings and another... I already have you. What are you guys after? You're after the Pancock. That's just walking away. You're never going to win if you do that. But that does spread them out. Okay. So back to Rita. Go further up. Track one of these guys so we can take him in small chunks as well as trying to get to you. Can you hit him? Got him. Attack seven. It did bring them all in. Wow. Okay, well, let's get this one moving. And there. Missed. Where is everybody? Right there. Okay. Rita, let's bring you back. All three of you. shoot again. Deflected. Let's get one round of everybody shooting. Took him out. Okay. All of you guys get down to here and you two head down to here as well. Rita. You, oh, it's frustrating how she ignores my orders. She did that last time too. Get down here. I'm going to have to babysit you guys all the way down, aren't I? Yeah, get it. They're, they're faster than your run speed. So get down there. Yes, I know you can take a shot, but keep going. They run just a tiny bit faster. So I need these guys. No, read it. Don't. Stop that. Get down here now. <laughs> I need these guys to be able to protect you. Get your shot off. And Rita, get down here now. What was that last one? Paul at Reach Combat 2. We got things rotting away. We're being attacked. There's a thunderstorm. We researched first aid kits. And can I make that go away? And that probably won't. And that won't. Okay. So you guys are all precariously close. Let's back up just a little bit further. And we're looking for an Edmund. Right? Edmund's up there. So Edmund, you eventually head down into here. I'll change your route a little bit. So all of you guys. Going after these three quick little ones. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. Got them. Okay. Let's back up some more. Actually, just you guys get over here. 
And you get over here. Okay, and all of you. Boom. Got him. Good. And Rita, you get the long shot. Got him. Let's back up some more. Like that. Rita. You can't see him. There. Got him. All right. Now, we're down to two left that we know of. You guys are dead. Over in the trees. There's nobody left over here. We're not going to go harvest that Pankoth. Is there anybody left in here? No surprises? No surprises. You we mark for attack. Okay. I think we're down to the, the last few. And we haven't been hit by lightning that the game has told me yet. So, all of you, let's go a little bit further forward. Get the little guy in range. Good. Thank you, Rita. Take out the, the one that's further away. Boom, boom, boom. And... Let's all back up. All back up. Whoa! Paulette went down. Paulette got hit by lightning. Oh, man. Health. Pain 30%. Consciousness 0. Lightning strike. Whole body. Okay. Let's see if that does any permanent damage. Everybody else. We're only going to go back far enough to reset weapons. Right there. Everybody has to shoot. Edmund. Shoot. Got him. That's the last one. Alright, I need Edmund to undraft and you're already going to do it. Rescuing Paulette. Okay. Both Edmund and Paulette have got medical as part of their skill tree. So, they're the pair. Okay, wow. So we got to see that happen. It is a thing. Carter, you have transported down. You're back inside again. So, that is all of us. Everybody up there and Carter. Now, Carter, what are you going to do next? You're probably going to get something to eat. I would imagine so. Um, did we... We've got power going again. So you two close. So Carter, you're going to close windows. And temperature inside is 62. And we're going to start uh, cooling this place down again. Okay. Back up to this area. You guys are going to undraft. And who do we really have? We have Kana. Who can mine? Who's got physical? So that's what it comes down to. I keep hitting that button. Hopefully it's not a button on my mouse on the side. Hopefully it doesn't trigger anything in this game. So we've got physical one. Umayar, physical one. All my miners are gone. Yeah. We just need to mine one thing, though. So who else? Simon, physical two. And Rita, physical two. So Rita is going to mine. Let's trigger all of the nests for mining. And there wasn't a hunt in there, was there? Butcher, butcher. Okay. Over here, we're going to... There's a hunt over here. What are you? Pankos. Okay. You guys mine. And Shrieker, Butcher, Nesting must already be set to Butcher. And Pankos we're going to ignore. Okay. So it was Rita and Simon, right? Simon, Physical 2. Simon, you come on over here and mine four of them. We can just get one thing in stock. We can start researching. Kana, I need you to start butchering. 
Butcher you. Butcher those. And who's left? Umiar is fighting. Oh, we still have this nest to take out. Okay, that's fine. And what are you? You're Pankaw. No, you're a red feathered bird. Risk of meltdown, Umiar. Really? Really? Hmm. Okay, it does me no good to have you fallen apart. So, hmm. How do I get you down there the fastest? Let's draft you and send you back home to here. Hopefully I remember you in time to go give you a meal. Oh, I wish they could bring a meal with them. That is frustrating. Simon is mining. Rita is mining. Kana is butchering. So, Kana, you're, you're total happiness. <laughs> Gotta love Kana. So, Kana, I need you to also butcher that one. And then head up in here and butcher that one. Butcher those to get you. And that one. I think that's all the bugs. Okay. Reed and Simon are going to mine. Umar's going to run back as fast as he can and not die. You're in a good mood. You're in total happiness also. Okay. Down here, you're still carrying. Paulette is still out. Paulette. Oh, Health-wise, you're at 155. You're not bleeding out. So eventually you're going to wake up and probably finish the walk on your own. Carter is handling windows. So how do we get you guys home safe? After, I guess you're going to walk this whole area until you get to there. Same with Umiar. So we'll just have to wait and see. Carter's closing the windows. We should see the temperatures start to cool down in here. We're already at 58. Now, does that go real time or do I have to move? No, nope, we're still 58. Carter's fighting. No, nope. so Carter, you're hunting. So your hunting overrides your obvious everything else. Let's, let's, you're not drafted, there, Carter, there you are, let's get you to eat, let's get you to eat an emergency ration, and then get you to sit for a while, and then you should have enough in you to make a trip somewhere and back, hopefully in time, um, things are quieting down thunderstorm wise, yeah, never mind. Here comes the winds again. So, who's our first one? That's right. Let's just do one each, and then we'll pull you guys out of here, too. You are right out in the open in a thunderstorm. Okay. First, second one done can haul. First one done. Ooh. Thunderstorm is ending, and there is the last strike somewhere. Uh, no red mark, so it wasn't one of us. I think we're getting to the end of the thunderstorm. Yeah, I said that before. It's still raining. Carbon nanotubes. So, Simon, why don't you instead butcher him and butcher them. You do... these butcherings instead. We got what we needed. Rita can bring it back. Khan is working on these. If you're doing that, then you're going to do that. Then you're going to haul all that home. Okay, let Rita finish. There it is. Okay, Rita, instead you're now going to haul carbon nanotubes. You can get as much of that as you can. We'll do the rest of this in another episode. Boy, when's this storm going to end? You are butchering the last one. You're going to head home. How's everybody doing over here? 
Edmund is... Oh, so Paulette. Okay, Paulette, how you doing? Uh, Health-wise. Lightning injury, whole body. Movement, pain, manipulation. Consciousness, pain, movement. Otherwise, you're in good spirits. <laughs> All right. Um... I could have you maybe haul something back on the way. We still have like leather right over here. There's leather right there, but I think I better just be thankful you're even gonna you even made it back. Yeah, I'll leave you alone. Okay, so Edmund is going back to finish the job. Oh, that we didn't finish. Simon it's going to take you forever with a crossbow. We'll let Edmund do the job. Okay. Though Rita should actually should be the one doing it. You know what? Yeah. Rita. Do that. Simon. Do that. And Edmund. You instead are going to... Work on the butchering. Okay. That works out still. Boom. Okay. Almost always happens. Where can, can I get to where I can see everybody? I think that's as close as we get. Any last lightning strike? What just turned red there? Hunting the humming fly. Carter's taking it down <laughs> no lightning strike okay so Rita is done with that and she is now going to butcher that one and these two um, I meant right now there we go so you're gonna do those Edmund's coming up to do that and Simon is hauling those. Khan is transporting. She's going to pick up all the meats that are down here. Great. All right. Carter is... He... he yeah. <laughs> he took out the pest. Okay. Well, that was our accomplishment for the day. You are already rotting in the field. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Yep. So, we've got it. Umar, did he... Where is he? He just arrived. No, he's sitting here dying. Okay, undraft. Grab some food. No, don't go research. Um, is it food? It is food. It's mostly just happiness. You're not going to get happiness from any of these meals. Um, but at least it get you something. So why don't you... Eat an emergency ration, and then drink some coffee, which is here. And see where that gets you. Then you can get to work doing this. Yes. That one, and then that one. We'll leave these two for now. We'll get back to this one. All right. Everything else is longer term, so we'll figure those out later. And you're going to grab coffee? You are. Paulette's cooking. We desperately need meals. All right. Simon is hauling. Khan is hauling. Rita is butchering and transporting. Evan is transporting. Is that like everything? It's like everything. Now, if I could get... You are leaving. If I could get you instead to bring the last of these home all that and Edmund if I can get you to also grab that you're gonna grab that and that now can I put this in your queue or does that screw up everything I don't know I think it I don't know. It, it took everything off of here. Let's see what you do on your own. Okay, it looks like you're figuring it out. 
good. Though we did get to this one, and there's actually quite a bit of meat there. I'm going to hang here a little bit longer and make sure that he catches that. I guess next episode we're going to come back and find all of that leather out there. Oh, you're a big bird. So, Carter made it back. Drinking, cooking, researching. Carter is enjoying playing the handpan, so he's going to get himself back to normal again. Simon is transporting. Kana is going to make it. Simon is fine. Rita is getting a little low. Edmund also. She's transporting. Edmund, I want you, this is what I was waiting for, to butcher. And then you should grab the meat there and the meat here and make it back all on your own. Theoretically, that works. If there's anything else out here we missed, I'm just going to leave it. But it looks like we cleaned it up pretty good. So let's make sure this happens and... Then I think we've got an episode. Where am I at? Hour 10. Alright, you've got that figured out. Alright, so I think that kind of wraps us up. One last peek down here. You bring that in. We are researching. He's a fast researcher too. So he's already a third of the way done with railgun snipers. So that is going to be one of our priorities coming up here real soon. Paulette, let's switch you back to just cooking as your most important. Your cooking is over here. Your healing. It is your most important. So when, when that happens, what is going on? There's so many choices that you could be doing on both stoves. So why do you break to go and handle something? When cooking is your number one. I don't know. You are set to next handle a whole bunch of things. We're at 2300 hours. You don't need a rest. You are next going to make a fruitcake. Uh, there. And then you are next going to make grain porridge. I guess I'm just going to have to order you around. Because you're, you're being too helpful. Simon's bringing these over. I guess we have spaces for them to drop into. Right. Boy, it's hard. A lot of clicks to get there. That formed its own natural space and filled itself in. Okay. So, there they are. You are crafting, finishing a previous meal. Okay. Oh, because I interrupted you. Well, that's interesting. So, you're... You had gotten to 100% already. And it was just going to go to waste. Unless it stacks up like 120% but doesn't show. Just stays in the background. So you didn't lose that meal. You just went off... Paulette! Okay. Drop that in. And just drop that on the ground. No more. Get over here. Make this. And make this no, don't don't take it back <laughs> okay fine <sighs> so Rita's on her way back Edmund is figuring it out Paulette how are you doing health wise anything permanent lightning injury we still have so I assume that there's a recuperation period. I hope that's not permanent. I don't know. We'll see what happens after a good night's sleep. It doesn't really give me any clues. That can't be a permanent thing, right? You have no pants? No, your pants are at zero. So you'll be grabbing some pants soon, which we have... Let's see... A shooting star. Pants, we have summer pants, trousers, and spaceship pants. Okay. Shooting star. A meteor with a long tail blazed in the sky and fell not too far from camp. It could be a small piece of debris or a genuine men meteorite. Which means it may come back with ore. So you'd want to send somebody with high physical. So that's an Edmund thing. Yeah. Okay. 
So maybe that's how we will start off next time. Otherwise, I think everything is as it's going to be. Assuming Edmund makes it back. And you have got the, the longest run. I think Simon is going to be rescuing Edmund like he does everybody else soon. Yeah, let's we'll wait long enough to get Edmund to right here. Then we'll send him in to go to sleep. And that way I'll be able to see it easily. I, I did that with Kana at the end of the last episode. It was in the middle of the trees. And it was kind of hard to find it afterward. But let's run you into here. And draft, undraft. Why don't you... Um, okay. All right. I'll wait long enough for Paulette to finish. Or is there one already? Um, Edmund. There is. Do that instead. All right. Now I'd say we're 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 good. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye now.